hi guys welcome back to my channel today video was about fridge organization i'm sharing with you guys how i organize my grocery in the most effective easiest and realistic way i often watch these videos and i think people not to blame anyone but i think people just stage the way they organize the fridge with uh, cute little items very colorful and nice barrels but in a day-to-day -day life when you have groceries i think we're not going to prioritize nice little barrels and cans and not have our groceries stall in the fridge so i'm showing you guys things that i do on a daily basis to make it look cute while being realistic and very 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 easy to accomplish so guys just follow along <laughs> So guys, I don't know about your fridge, but mine is very compartmentalized. Is that how you say that word? <laughs> I'm not sure, but that makes it easy to just uh, classify my grocery. So over here, uh, at the very bottom, the freezer, I have my all my veggies. And if I have something left over, like this ground beef, I just put it there in a way that I can easily see it. And the very bottom has all the meat. Over here we have shrimps, we have uh, tilapia, we have chicken wings, etc., etc. It makes it easier. I put them at the very bottom of the freezer part of my fridge. So guys, at the top, I put all the items that I use in a daily basis. So on the side door, I put all my vinegar, uh, sauce, and all the condiment, like liquid condiment that I can fit in there. I also try to classify them from the bigger to the smallest. Efficiently, it makes sense and is visually pleasant the middle part is the heart of the fridge this is where you have all the stuff you use daily here i have my kombucha water and i also have my chuboni uh, greek yogurt in the very back i have some eggs And I also put all the vegetables that I use every single day when I'm cooking. One tip I'm going to give you is not to get rid of all your containers. This one will recycle so I can store my uh, celery parcel or celery, one of them. And the one clear on the back came from a Chinese takeout. I just added some water and I put my husband, uh, is it parsley or celery? It's one of them inside. It just allowed to store stuff and it, in the most effective way, it will last longer. Also guys, this glass used to be a candle. I used the candle and I recycled the glass so I can store my uh, veggie in it. And over here, I'm just using some beans that you can find anywhere, Amazon, Home Goods, to organize my vegetables. And I try to organize them by colors. It just makes it more, you know, pleasant for the vision. And uh, these are just a mix of uh, salad. And it, I think it's already on the can. I just left them over. Easy for me to just pack in the fridge. Same thing with the Spanish. And down is just when you use all the beans and you have still space left, you just, you know, try to organize anything else. And it's easy to just stack stuff. And I use a clear container for my cheeses. It allows me to see uh, if I need to buy more and, you know, just manage my grocery overall. Also, guys, I don't always remove my items in from their original packages. When it looks good and is easier for me, I just leave it there. 
like this salsa and i don't go ahead and label stuff i personally think it's useless because you can clearly see what's in it here we have some strawberries you can see lemon you can see apples your dried and smoked meat your snacks so i I've, i just think it's i don't need to label anything and just go extra uh, buying stuff to label my my groceries just clear is organized and you can clearly see what it is so just save the money guys save the coins <laughs> And now those beans, I just put my vegetables, like other vegetables, salad, carrots, and etc. So anything that fit there and looks not clutter, I'll put it inside. Over here is a little messy. I have to admit, I have a leftover uh, bread. I have leftover <laughs> cheese that I need to use. And I have this tortilla. Luckily, I found some storage for my tortilla that will help keep them fresh and tasteful. I have a couple of eggs left over that did not make it to the eggs organizer. Okay guys, last overview of my fridge organization. I'm pretty satisfied with the results. I prioritize the convenience versus the aesthetic. I, I don't want to just put some nice barrels in my fridge where I already have uh, filtered water from my fridge. So where am I going to put my groceries? <laughs> so it doesn't make sense to me guys so um let me see uh, in the comment how you organize your grocery do you have compartments that are dedicated to you know specific groceries and uh, just comment below i hope this video was somehow helpful and motivated you to clean and organize ultimately do what best for you thank you so much for watching